katika kipindi mfahamu kiongozi pale ambapo unapata nafasi kuwafahamu viongozi mbali mbali na hii leo katika kipindi hiki tutakuwa tukizungumza na mmoja wapo wa masineta ambao ni vijana wachanga katika masuala ya uongozi si mwingine ila ni seneta wa Nyandarwa John Meti wapati kutueleza macho yake maisha yalikuwa namna gani kitu kilimpa msukumo wa kuongoa katika masuala ya siasa je hii ilikuwa ndoto yake tunadhani hadi tamati kumbuka unawasiliana nasi kwa 2247 mitandao kijamii at tv47 Kenya pale Facebook na cross on Twitter cross on binafsi l underscore lisa nie nie mtu mtu. Asante sana kupata nafasi yetu ni kadamu siku hii leo. By the way nimekutafuta sana. Mhm. Asante sana nimepatikana. Vita za moja. Seneta Mithuni. Eh Asante sana. Na pia nashukuru sana kwa kupata nafasi ya kuzungumza na TV47 asubuhi ya leo. Eh kama ingekuwa ni wakati tulikuwa shuleni. Mtu akuuliza seneta Methu ni nani? Tumwambia seneta Methu ni mimi. Lakini kwa sababu umeingia katika baso la uongozi. Leo hatuko shuleni. Tunasema seneta Methu ni ni seneta wa kaunti ya Nyandarwa. Kama ulivyosema uh, nimepata nafasi ya kuwahudumia. Watu ya Nyandarwa wamenipatia nafasi nikiwa kwa umri mdogo ukilinganisha kwa sababu hapa sana hakuna mtu amechaguliwa mwenye ana miaka midogo kama yako. Eh hela dio. Amenipatia nafasi ya kuwahudumia nikiwa mwaka 31 na nataka niwashukuru sana. Mimi ni mtu ya kutoka Nyandarwa. Kuzaliwa nimezaliwa pale Nyandarwa, nimekuwa Nyandarwa, nimesoma Nyandarwa. Sasa hapo ndio nataka nikurejeshe. Ulizaliwa wapi Nyandarwa? Mm. Na katika familia watu wangapi? Ah uh, familia ya mzee wangu ambaye ndiye Methu mimi nimechukua jina lake e, na mama yangu Jane Jerry e, tuko watoto tano na mimi ni mtoto wa tatu mimi niko katikati kuna wawili kwanza kuna wawili e, nyuma yangu nilizaliwa um, 1991 14th February Eh, siku ya Valentine. <laughs> eh, ah, watoto wa Valentine. Watoto wa Valentine. <laughs> Lakini kwa shida ambazo ni za kawaida. Eh, kukawa na shida nyumbani. Na nikawa sasa sitaweza kukaa na wazazi wangu nikiwa kijana wa miezi miwili. <laughs> eh, my grandmother, the red penina, <laughs> Nyambura, aka nichukua. Eh, hayo ni mambo ambayo nimeelezwa kwa sababu mimi sikujua. Uli, ulielezewa tu jinsi ambavyo nilielezewa jinsi ambavyo nilivyokuwa. Eh, sasa tukaanza kukaa naye. Na, katika familia ya watu wangapi? Watu watatu. Wewe ukiwa mtoto wa watatu. Watatu. Eh, nikiwa kijana wa miaka, miezi miwili, ndio my grandmother akanichukua. Eh, tukaenda kijiji. Inaitwa Heni. Huko ni Kinangop. Ambapo mimi niliishi miaka yangu yote. Nilisoma Heni Nasa School nikasoma Heni Primary School baadaye nikapita nikapata nafasi ya kwenda na Cool Boys High School nikaenda Goshen Academy hapo nilimalizia high school wakati huu wote ulikuwa unapenda kuwaona wazazi wako yeah, nilipata baada muda kidogo nili nilipata kuwajua wazazi kwa sababu unajua pale nikiwa mdogo sikuwa nimewajua miezi miwili huwezi kuwaudaji sikuwa nimewajua na kwa sababu my grandmother ndiye alikuwa ukifungua macho ulijua yeye yeah. alikuwa mamako na tulikuwa tu wawili. Watoto yake tayari walikuwa watu wame wamekuwa watu wazima. So ilikuwa ni mimi na yeye. So mimi nilikuwa nikimjua baadaye nikamjua mama, baadaye kidogo nikamjua baba. Hata ingawa baba hatukujuana kwa muda mrefu. Sababu nilimjua kabisa ile kumjua eh, nikiwa mtu mzima. Nikiwa nasoma secondary. Na baadaye kidogo tena akaaka haikuchukua muda tena baada ya kujiona na yeye tena akaaga. Uli 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 ulionyeshwa mamako ukiwa na umri kama mgani na hawa wazazi wako. Nitasema nilimjua. Mama yangu nilikuwa ninamjua. Tangia nikiwa mdogo. Ni vile siko nimemjua ni mama. Lakini nilikuwa alikuwa anakuja anatuletea vile vitu ambavyo tunahitaji chakula nguo nini. Unaona anti amekuja. Anti amekuja lakini baadaye kama siwezi kujua kabisa ni umri gani lakini nilimjua na alinifanyia kazi kubwa sana. E, pale pale shuleni ikawa my guardian ni my grandmother akanichunga vizuri sana. 
kwa bahati ya Mungu nilikuwa a brilliant young man. Eh watoto wa, wa, wa nyanya siku zote huwa wanaambiwa wamedekezwa. Nilikuwa nimekudekeza? Kudekezwa sitadanganya siku nimedekezwa. Mm-hmm. Nilikuwa lakini uh, pia alikuwa na anakuwa mkali sana. Hakuwa mkali sana siwezi kudanganya ni alikuwa mkali. Eh okay. alikuwa sana sana anapenda kuzungumza badala ya ku kuwa na fujo. Anazungumzia na nikapita niliweka rekodi any primary school ya kupata kiingereza 94 marks ukakosa marks 6 pekee eh 6 pekee yake na haijavunjwa mpaka leo mpaka wa leo haijavunjwa rekodi hiyo ama watu wengine haijavunjwa wakati huu wakati watoto wengi kiwauliza kama wakati huu mtoto wako ukimuuliza atakwambia nataka kuwa rubani pilot nataka kukuwa daktari wakati huu ndoto yako ilikuwa gani na mara nyingi watoto wakiwa nyumbani utapata wanajua zile vitu za kawaida kama mwalimu maana yake ndizo vitu wanaona mimi nitasema nikiwa pale pale primary school sikuwa na nia ambayo nilikuwa nimelenga kabisa lakini kuna kitu moja nilipenda sana nilipenda nifike university nilipenda kabisa nipate nafasi ya kwenda university nipate tu university kwa kosi yote lakini nijipata nimeenda university kwa sababu pale kwa familia yetu hakuna mtu mwingine alikuwa amepata kwenda university na nilikuwa nimemuona my cousin anaitwa Virginia ameenda university na another cousin of mine anaitwa Muhoro ameenda university na walikuwa wananielezea university ni mahali kuzuri sana sasa wakati tena nilipofika university ikawa sasa aji ya kuenda no, wakati nilifika high school aji ya kwenda university Ika, ikawa ya juu zaidi sababu mwalimu alituambia hii shida mko nayo hapa ukifika huko university hakuna shida pale hakuna sheria pale hakuna masomo mengi pale kila kitu iko sawa sawa hata pesa unapatiwa na serikali hata ingawa nilipofika kule nikaona ukapata ma si kabisa kama vile nilivyo nilivyo nilivyoambiwa lakini nilipata nafasi ya kwenda ukiwa high school maisha ilikuwa namna gani maisha yalikuwa sawa sawa Eh, wakati huu ulikuwa, ulikuwa bado unaishi na nyanya yako ama nilikuwa naishi na nyanya yangu eh, nikitoka eh, pale nakuru kwa sababu shule nilisomea hapo nakuru ninarudi hapa nyumbani lakini wakati huo tulikuwa pia tumepata uhusiano wa karibu na mama kwa hivyo nilikuwa nina natembea na, 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 na pale <laughs> eh, ninakutana na ndugu zangu Mayanga brother, mayanga sister na, na wale wenye ni wakubwa. Labda kwa lile ulilowelezewa kabla sijavuka katika kipindi hicho. Ni kipi kilifanya ukapeano kwa nyanya yako? Si eh, unajua eh, kulikuwa na shida eh, ya kifamilia ambazo ni shida za kawaida. Mm. Um, ikawa baba na mama wako wanatatizana na sasa ikawa na ikawa sasa mama anaona hata 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 endelea kuwa kwa ndoa. Sasa e, ikawa mimi ni mdogo tena na ndugu zangu tena ni wadogo. Na sasa ikaonekana mimi nikifuatana na mama itanitakuwa mziko kwake. Sasa mama yake sasa ambaye ni nyanyango akamwambia muache huyu hapa. Na pia nilipo nililoelezewa mimi nilipokuwa mtoto mdogo nilikuwa nilipoachwa hata sikulia hata sikusumbua mtu. Mimi nilipowachwa niliambiwa mimi nikiwa mtoto mdogo siko wale watoto wakusumbua watu siko wale watoto wa kulialia nikipewa chakula mimi ninakaa siku nzima niko sawa sawa wakati ukiingia university ulikuwa unakwenda kusomea nini nilipoenda university mara kwanza nilikuwa nimepata kosi ya kusoma bachelor of commerce lakini nilibadilisha nilibadilisha kwanza kabisa nilipenda sana kwenda kwa university hata my 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 schoolmates walijua kabisa mimi nilipenda kwenda pwani university mbona pwani na sio Nairobi wala nilipenda kwenda pwani kwa sababu sikuwa nimepata nafasi ya kutembea i had no travel hata Nairobi sikuwa nimekuja hata Mombasa huko na Nairobi na, nilikuwa nimeenda mbali na kuru sasa nitaka mahali penye nitaenda mbali zaidi wakati huu wote ukiwa shuleni au uko unatembea kukuti sasa si kupata nafasi ya kutembea kwa sababu watu wengi wetu wako Nyandarwa na wale wengine ningetembelea wako Nakuru sasa ikawa mahali umeenda mbali ni Nakuru hapo hapo na masomo ni Nakuru hapo hapo siku kudhani nilikuwa nimepata nafasi na kama nilikuwa nimepata nafasi labda nikuwa nikiwa mdogo so nilipenda kwenda mahali ni mbali zaidi nilikuwa nimeambiwa na Mombasa ni mahali kuzuri hata siku jua pwani university iko kilifi nilidhani iko Mombasa mpaka ile siku yenye nilienda kulipot ndio nikajua na google hapana nilijua mimi naenda Mombasa na ni sawa sawa Eh, nikapata nafasi ya kwenda pale nilipoenda pale nikabadilisha course. Mm-hmm. Nikafanya 
Bachelor of Arts Political Science. I hakukuwa na relationship yoyote kabisa ya mimi kusoma political science mm -hmm. na kufikiria siku moja nitasimama kiti. Mhm. Mm ulikuwa tu unasoma. Lakini ni pale mbeleni kidogo 2013. Kwa sababu mimi niingia university 2013. Mm -hmm. Kwa campaign zile za pale Nyandarwa. Mimi nilikuwa mstari wa mbele sana wa campaign. Baada vijana wa kupiga campaign mimi nilikuwa mstari wa mbele sana. Kati huu kipiga campaign. Ulikuwa unajiona ni kama utaingia katika masuala ya siasa ama ulikuwa unasaidia tu mtu. Kulingana na kulingana na familia ambayo mimi nilikuwa nimetoka. Si kuona kabisa kama ninaweza kuingia kwa siasa. Mm. Eh, lakini kwa siasa ile ya MCA mm. na niko kijana mdogo nimemaliza high school juzi mm. lakini nilikuwa kwa kuupanga vijana sana. Mm. Kwa masuala ya e, mbunge aliyekuweko wakati huo. Mm. Eh, mimi niko kwa vijana wenye huko mstari wa mbele kwa mbele sana wa kupiga wakati uhuru alikuja pale jambini mimi ndio napanga jeshi hapo yenye itaimbia uhuru na nini na nini eh, kwa hivyo mimi nilipenda campaign hata nikiwa kijana mdogo i used to admire member of parliament wetu walikuwa naitwa Waithaka Mwangi alikuwa mbunge wetu kutoka 1997 mpaka na 2007 hata nikiwa mtoto ya nursery school 2000 nilitoka nikaenda kumuimbia uh -huh. e, wakati amekuja pale e, shuleni uh -huh. tukaenda kuimba nini 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 sasa nilipenda sana uh -huh. um, e, maneno hayo ya siasa uh -huh. nikamuona councilor alikuwa amechaguliwa tu tu uh -huh. anaitwa Abbas uh -huh. mimi nilitoroka shuleni kwa sababu kulikuwa na mkutano ya councilor nikataka kumuona nimuona tu nilienda kwa baraza la councilor anaitwa Abbas David Abbas nilikuwa na furaha lakini si kufikiria kabisa ninaweza fika pale uh -huh. Um, nilipo fika university mwaka wangu wa kwanza mimi nikasimama kiti ya student leader kutokana na zile siasa ulikuwa unaona huko nyumbani nikapiga huko huko pwani university nikasimama kiti ambayo hata first year hako hako amesimama nikasimama kiti ya deputy speaker wa congress ya 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 ya, ya student leadership kidogo kidogo nikapita kimchezo mchezo nikapita ukamobilize na ndio nikamobilize na nikakuwa Watu hawakuamini wakaona inakuwaaje fast year huyu? Ni deputy speaker. Ni deputy speaker. Mhm. Mm Tamu ya pili nikasimama finance director. Hiyo ndio ilikuwa kiti the hottest. Eh, kwa sababu ile ndio ilikuwa maneno ya pesa. Mhm. Mm eh, na pesa university haikuwa kama hii ya, 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 ya hapa senate. <laughs> hapa senate ukipatiwa hata 2000 unaambiwa ni wa account weka receipt na nini na nini ya. Pana ni ukitumia umetumia. Mhm. Mm em um, nikawa finance director kampeni ilikuwa kali nilipata usaidizi wa watu wengi siwezi kudanganya sikupata usaidizi wa watu wakati ule mbunge wakati ule alinisaidia akanipatia kidogo eh, deputy governor wakati wetu hiyo wakati kidogo kidogo tukafanya kampeni moto sana mkapiga kampeni na hakuna mkikuyu alikuwa amechaguliwa kwa kiti hicho manake pale wengi kwa sababu pale eh, pale university wanafunzi wengi walikuwa ni wa hapo coast sasa wengi walikuwa nachagua watu hapo kosi. Mimi nikasimama nikashindana na nikashinda. That year nikasimama kiti ya nikajua kuna uh, association ya wanafunzi wote wa University wa Nyandarwa. Nikasimama secretary general. Na wakati huu wote unapiga siasa unafikiria siasa za national. No 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 nilikuwa Wakati huu unaona hizi tunda. Nilikuwa tu hapo hapo hapo. Hata wazazi wangu hawakujua kabisa what is happening. But uh, nilipokuwa deputy speaker ama nilipoingia university mara ya kwanza mm -hmm. i would want to go back kidogo mm -hmm. nilipoenda university mara ya kwanza nilienda na 19000 shillings mm -hmm. ambazo kidogo nimepatiwa na mama mm -hmm. na kidogo nilikuwa nimechanga nilikuwa mwalimu pale our untrained teacher mm -hmm. nilikuwa nalipwa 2500 mm -hmm. kutoka nilipotoka pale eh, high school mm -hmm. nikawa mwalimu mm -hmm. um, sasa nilikuwa nimechanga kidogo ile kidogo kwa sababu unajua matumizi ni, ni kidogo ile wakati ni ukishanunua simu na weka airtime mm -hmm. eh na spirit atakuwa tumefika maneno hata ya kuwa na girlfriend so hata airtime ni kidogo <laughs> airtime ni ya kupiga kampeni hata si ya kupiga kampeni ni ya kuzungumzia marafiki classmates watu 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 hata girlfriend auna hamuna nilikuwa nime nimeonywa sana <laughs> mbona ulikuwa umeonywa sana <laughs> Kwa sababu my grandmother alikuwa No no my grandmother ma, macho yake na macho yangu yalikuwa ya M nimepata nipata degree So pesa yote ambayo nilikuwa tumekusanya mama na, ma, na mimi na nyanya ilikuwa 19000 shillings 
nikaenda university nikalipa 11,500 11, na ikalipa hostel 4,500 mimi nikabaki na shilingi 1,300 ambayo ndio ilikuwa inipatia chakula kwa semester mzima na hiyo ndiyo pesa ya peke yake ambayo mimi nilipata kutoka kwa wazazi kwa sababu mimi kutokea hapo nilijiingiza kwa biashara the second or that day nikiwa pale university ushilikuwa ushaona biashara nilikuwa nishaanza kufanya kazi ya kusaidia mtu wako na pool mimi nilikuwa pool attendant nilikuwa nishapata kazi maana yake unataka pesa sasa mimi naingia class naingia pool pale na alipisha nini nini baadaye nilipopata help yangu ya kwanza 26000 nikanunua ile pool ikakuwa yangu ala baada ya muda kidogo mimi nikawa ni mtu ninaenda kidogo kidogo nikaenda nikaweka tax shop mbili I was getting a lot of money. Okay. Pesa nyingi labda kuliko hata zenye napata hapa hapa okay. siku hizi. Okay. Ambayo nilitumia kusimama hiyo kiti ya secretary general. Mm-hmm. Hasa ikawa mimi ndio nasaidia wenye wako nyumbani. Mm-hmm. Kama ndugu zangu wenye wanasoma na nini nikawa niko na pesa ina. Na niko niko mwanafunzi. Mm-hmm. Uh, nilipofika third year nikasimama kiti ya secretary general Nyandarua County Tertiary Students Association nikashinda. Hapo ndipo nilipopata ideas. Ya kuwa ninaweza simama kiti na unaweza piga kampeni hizo. Ninaweza simama kiti. Yeah. So for the year nikasimama kiti ya senator Nyandarwa. That time I am 20, 25. Mukapelekana ndio. So yes, nikangangana, nikaweka effort. Nikachukua pesa yangu yote pale. Nikaratea wananchi pale. Ile pesa. <laughs> maneno ikaenda vile ilikagua. <laughs> Ambao ni maneno ya kawaida. Nipeleke, nipeleke katika hii safari. Ulijiangalia, ukajua it's time. It is time, yes. Na kwa sababu nimekuwa sekita jenu wa nyandaro nzima. Mm-hmm. Sita simama MCA, sita simama MP. Kwa sababu nimekuwa sekita jenu wa nyandaro mzima. Mm-hmm. Hivo hivo. Because I thought I have a network of the students. Mm-hmm. So nitaanzia hapo. Mm-hmm. And we did a, a, a very good campaign. Mm-hmm. I was second in 2017. A young man who was just... Uh, 25 years na ukona. 25 years and... Uh, Tukunga, tuduweka, 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 tuduweka effort. Mm-hmm. Ikawa lakini sikuwa nimejua maneno mengi sana. Yes, yes. Ilikuwa ninasoma. Sikuwa nimejua maneno ya siasa ya chama. Sikuwa nimejua maneno ya unajua unafaa kujua nani ndio kujua nini ufanye nini. Nilifanya tu campaign. Ulikuwa tu unafanya maana yake unaamini Lakini I can tell you eh, kwa watu wote ambao walinizunguka. Asilimia watu wenye wamenizunguka kama 90 hawakuona ni kama inawezekana. Inawezekana. Hata ikafika wakati mwingine wazazi wangu wakaniambia ninaona. Na unajua mzazi hawezi kuambia kama anakuchukia. Mzazi anakupenda. The best person, the person that wishes the best for you mm-hmm. is your parent. So hakuambi kwa sababu anakuchukia. Anakuambia tuanze kwa kiti MCA. Ndio mm-hmm. tupande kidogo kidogo. Kijipate hapa juu. Lakini I was I had a conviction that I want to be senator. Mm-hmm. I was convinced that uh, kwa miaka yenye niko naye kazi hii ya senator in my mind I knew ni kazi ya kuja hapa senate nitatetea watu wetu pesa iende kule na nifuatilie vile anafanyika. I thought that was easy. That's something that is doable. Yeah. Eh, uh, but maneno ikakuwa hivyo venye ilikuwa. Eh, uh, nikakosa. Nikaendelea. Unfortunately I had spent uh, all my money and I was now graduating from the university so there's no way I would have gone back there. So that that year of 2017 was was quite difficult. Quite quite difficult. And now 2018. Ni kwa kuwa hauna pesa. 2018 ikawa nimeoa. Okay. Eh msichana ni nimempenda. Okay. Kabla kabla kuoa nipeleke mlipatanaji. Mambo ya kupatana ni magumu. Hey, hey, hey. Ni ta kidogo tu kidogo tu wewe. Ni pale pale nikiwa eh, student leader kwa Nyandarwa. Msichana naye anasoma Kenyatta University. Mm-hmm. Na tunaenda mentorship programs. Allah. Na msichana ni mzuri. Mm-hmm. Mimi ana nafurahishwa na yeye. Mm-hmm. Eh tunaanza kuzungumza. Mm-hmm. Tunazungumza, tunazungumza, tunazungumza. Mlipatana kwa mentorship program. Na jambo hili <laughs> likaelekeza kwa lile. Jambo lile likaelekeza kwa lile lingine. Moja baada ya lile lingine likaelekeza kwa lile lingine. Mm-hmm. Lile lingine likaelekeza kwa kuoana. Lile la kuoana likaelekeza tumepata mtoto eh, 2018. Ndi kutakurejesha hapa manake juzi niliona clip yako tu mitandaoni. 
kwamba mlikuwa mmepanga kuona kwa harusi. Kitu kwa tumepanga kuona kwa harusi lakini vile nimekuambia jambo hili likaelekeza kwa nini. <laughs> Mimi ni wa AIC na yeye unajua ni wale wanafunga kitambaa. Mhm. And uh, she is the only daughter. Kwao, not even the only daughter, the only child wa wazazi wake. Mm-hmm. So she was really so dear to the parents. Mm-hmm. Na wazazi walikuwa wamepanga, wamempangia mm-hmm. kwa sababu alikuwa eh child wa youth. Biadali. Alikuwa child wa youth wa kanisa yao. Hiyo ya ya kuweka kitambaa. Mm-hmm. Na wale kwao it is uh, very very serious. Yes. Okay, it's not that uh, sisi wa IIC mm-hmm. we are not serious. Yao iko na restrictions. Yao iko na restriction. Mm-hmm. Hata kuongea na kijana hiyo haikubalishwi na haswa mwenye anatoka pia dhehebu tofauti na hata kwa dhehebu yenu mm-hmm. kuzungumza naye inakuwa hamfai mpaka mm-hmm. ile wakati mna mna Munaona. kuna maneno yale wanapanga mm-hmm. sasa ikawa hatuwezi kuenda kwa kuoa kwa kanisa yao mm-hmm. sababu mimi si wa kanisa yao mm-hmm. na pia yeye kuja kwa kanisa yetu mm-hmm. kuna kuna hiyo kuna kuna hiyo ku, 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 kuvutana hapa na pale lakini mapenzi ni mvunja mlima mm-hmm. mapenzi yanawaeka pamoja yanavunja kila kitu yanavunja kila kitu mm-hmm. na ikawa mm-hmm. tuko pamoja ile wakati nyingine tukikutana na wewe mm-hmm. nitakueleza the most difficult part ilikuwa <laughs> hii ya kuambia wazazi Wa? wazazi wake huyu mtoto wenu peke yake mm-hmm. tunataka kwenda naye hapo parikuwa na maneno ambayo nitakueleza siku nyingine ilikuwa kazi ngumu <laughs> Ndio kidogo. Bana yake nani alikusaidia? Bana yake I can imagine huyu ni mtoto wa kipekee. Na kana ni Chari. wazazi wake ni strict Christians. Mm-hmm. Strict Christians. Mm-hmm. Eh hata wa leo. They are, they are strictly Christians. Na they were, everybody was finding it uh, clumsy. No, you know, it, it, not, it did not look neat. That mtu uh, mwenye anatoka huko huko mbali mbali tena ni muti ya siasa mm-hmm. najua watu ya siasa si sana sana hawaonekani kama ni watu wameokoka hey, kabisa kabisa bwana siasa vile vionekana sasa in, pia wanaona inakuwa but uh, we made an attempt i took uh, my friends not even uh, uh, elders i took my friends two three nikamwambia tendeni itakuwa ni iko tendeni tukaseme sasa tulipofika tukamwambia nyinyi ndio mmekuja Aya, hapa wapewa chakula waenda nyumbani. Hata hakuna kusikiza kwa sababu they are age mates 25 years young men ndio wamekuja. Ya ndio wamekuja tu. Lakini eh eh baadaye kidogo ni tukapanga, tukapanga maneno kidogo. Eh lakini kwa wakati hii ya kupanga pia tukapata our first born daughter. That is in 2018. Na nyuma ya kidogo. Unfortunately my mother passed on. January 2018 mm-hmm. na August 2017 nimepoteza kiti mm-hmm. January 2018 nikampoteza mama then uh, April 2018 tukapata our first born then June 2018 my grandmother who brought me up aka pass on so it uh, looked like uh, I'm all by myself and everything is not working. You no job, no nothing. So we struggled here and there. Mm-hmm. Um my wife is now uh, was then now taking care of the baby. There's no way she would uh, be doing anything very meaningful mm-hmm. with a young a young baby. Mm-hmm. But uh, somehow we pulled through. We pulled through. 2018 I 2018 October. Uh, I, 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 I got a job at the county assembly of Nyandarwa. Mm-hmm. The speaker then, yeah. Yeah, James Ndegwa Home, gave me an opportunity to serve as his personal secretary. Mm-hmm. In a very circumstantial, you know, it's not that I even asked for the job. Mm-hmm. Because during the, 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 the day my mother was being buried, just like many politicians do, and that is why I don't promise many things in, uh, at the height of it. Mm-hmm. They said, uh, come tomorrow, we are giving you a job. Another one says, come the, the next day, I'm giving you a job. And it never happened. The speaker happened. said because uh, you have been given a job by everybody here I'm not committing anything. But the person who never committed is the one who gave me a job uh, finally. Mm-hmm. Uh, I started <coughs> I was a bit uh, scared. I didn't want to go to the county assembly. 
because I, there are rumors that the speaker wants to be the senator. And my mind was fixed that I want to be the senator of Nyandara. So this guy wants to bring me here so that... Uh, and monitor. Yeah, so that uh, he will kill my ambitions. Mm -hmm. So when uh, we want to speak uh, um, that he wants to give me a job, I told him no. I don't want the job. Then uh, the, we, we, we met the next time. I looked for a person that he could not lie to. The speaker is an elder of the AIC church. And I'm a member of the AIC church. So when he called me so that we can speak, I called our bishop. So Katuma Bishop Nenda No, we went, all of us. Mm -hmm. So that whatever he says, the bishop will be there. I told the bishop I have no problem because I need a job. But the only reservation I have is that uh, this guy uh, will stop me from running. And he wants to be senator. The speaker said, I cannot say that I don't want to be senator. Because I have not decided what seat I want to go for. If I want to be senator, that will be just that. But I will not stop you from running. You pursue your, you pursue your goal, you run your race, and it will just be that. If it, if it, is, uh, if it will be that we shall have to compete, then we shall compete. The best is going to win. The best is going to win. And then I said, okay, if that is the position, then Nico Game. You can get a job. To Kansa. You can find a job. You can find a job. You can find a job. We had to resign in February of this year. And I would want to say, that man James Dewahome is a special boss. He never at one time stopped me, stopped me from Kufanya uh, Kaziango campaign. Ata tukienda kwa mazishi. Anasema yake? Yeah, anasema yake. Na wewe unasema. Na mwingine anataka kiti ya seneta wanaitua. Mimi ni neko hapo. Mwishowe mimi tunaingia kwa gari ya serikali tunayenda na mimi ni bozi yake na mbebea simu na mbebea gazeti na kila kitu na mfanyia kazi. Mimi I, de I dedicated uh, and I served that man. Nili mfanyia kazi kwa kadri ya uwezo wangu. Nilifanya kazi kwa bidi sana. Hata watu wenye ndara wakinipigia kura, walijua I'm a very hardworking young man. Nilimfanyia kazi and kabisa. I was loyal to him. I was loyal to him 100%. Kunajua kulikuwa na shida ilitokea kati yake na governor mm -hmm. na nini. Mimi nilisimama nyuma ya speaker kabisa kabisa. Eh ikawa tunasimama kiti, mimi nikareza in February. Na as fate would have it, yeye yeah, akasimama kiti ya governor. Lakini akasimama kiti ya governor na chama ya CCK. Mimi nikakuwa kwa UDA. We kept our friendship. Mbaka leo, sisi ni marafiki wa karibu. Kila wakati ya kija Nairobi, tuko pamoja. Kila wakati ya nikienda Nyandarwa, tuko pamoja. Wakati ulipata ticket ya UDA, ulijua haka kamishika. Manake wakati huo UDA. Tutafanya kampeni na governor wa UDA. Sikuwa na, mimi sikuwa na, obyo na nilimuambia. Kama vile itakuwa nikumu wewe kufanya kampeni na senator wa UDA. Hata mimi nitakuwa na kazi nkumu kufanya na wewe kazi kama governor wa UDA lakini heshima yetu ilidumu tukikutana tunafanya kazi kwa pamoja hatukukosana hata siku moja yeye alifanya kampeni yake mimi nilifanya kampeni yangu hata nikimwona hapo na senator wa We value your feedback if you would like to send questions comments or suggestions for your favorite TV47 shows call us on telephone number 0740047047 or email us on info at tv47.co.ke you can also write to us on PO box 5990606 Sarit Center Nairobi or you can reach us on any of our social media at tv47 Kenya across all platforms you can also drop your complaint or feedback at our office located on number 10 Ojiju close off Ojiju Road Parklands Nairobi This is TV 47 Happy holidays Getting together for the first time in years was uh, a little bit awkward. Grandpa still tried to entertain us. How well do you know what's happening around you? Morning Cafe with heated political debates. Baraza la Siasa. Informative health discussions. Business.
Your future career at Candy College of Beauty and Applied Sciences. We offer advanced courses with personalized attention to our students. Come and get your diploma or certificate in cosmetology, hairdressing and beauty therapy, diploma in community development and social work, or certification in catering and accommodation operation. We also offer diploma in nutrition and dietetics and many more. All of our graduates have secured employment in the job market while others have gone into entrepreneurship. What are you waiting for? For. Join us today. For more information on how you can enroll, visit us at the London Beauty Building, 5th floor, Tavetta Road, Nairobi, or call us on 0726-031-109 or 0784-515-606. Facebook, Candy College of Beauty and Applied Sciences, or on Instagram, Candy College of Sciences. Our January intake is ongoing. Candy College of Beauty and Applied Sciences is the Cutting Edge College. Have you covering up and hiding? Well, let's treat acne in three easy steps. Acne's creamy wash for acne prone skin removes excess oil and dirt. Acne's soothing toner soothes inflammation, nourishes, and hydrates skin. Acne's sealing gel clears acne causing bacteria. Mentholatum Acne's a new beginning for clear skin. <laughs> 